Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics, and I'm going to be doing some unboxing today, and because I kind of have a lot to do, I'm just going to get into it. As you can tell, I'm feeling a lot better um, from my fan cold. <laughs> um, so thank you for putting up with me <laughs> in my uh, state of sickness. But I got a few things to unbox. Nothing really special, but the end, I think, is something that's really, really cool. So in a specific order, I'm going to get started. Went to my comic book shop today, and I saw this little handout. So if you guys haven't seen this, they're free, you know, little flyers. Uh, go ahead and grab one from your local comic book shop. But it says Doc Ock Lives, and then on the back of it it says Arms of the Octopus. Doc Ock Lives again in this special three-part crossover. And as you can see at the bottom, all new X-Men. Special number one, same thing with Indestructible Hulk and superior spider-man so they're going to be a special one shots of dr octopus lives don't really know how they're going to do this dr octopus is quite the genius so i'm pretty sure he's going to find a way to show that dr octopus is still alive at the same time while the real dr octopus is actually the superior spider-man so that's that <clears throat> Uh, picked up one of these thingy, thingy ma bobbers. I am not whatsoever a role playing, board playing game person, but I thought that they were just like really, really cool to have. Plus, I've got this kind of like statue collection going on right now, as you'll see toward the end of this video. Um, so I was like, you know what? I think they were like two or three bucks. So I decided to pick one up and I'm going to do an unpackaging. In front of you guys Let's see what this little guy is and what do you know it's Wolverine look at that right there really cool little guy I was kind of hoping to get Wolverine I wasn't really sure who I would get didn't really care but I was just shooting for somebody. But I got Wolverine. Pretty cool. Plus he's right there on the cover. Old 90's Jim Lee drawing. Uh, this is actually a cover off of uh, X-Men number 1 from like 91 or 92. For all you guys that are 30, 35 and older remember that. Uh, what is this? Wolverine, Avengers, Brute, Weapon X, X-Force, X-Men. Uh, hard to get rid of. Wolverine can use. Regeneration and Toughness. I'm just reading the little card that he came with. St sticking my nose in other people's business. Uh, don't really know what all these mean. Point value, 113. Healing factor at the beginning of your turn, Wolverine can use. Regener regeneration as a free action. Hero click. Exploit weakness. Battle fury. So don't really know what all this stuff means. But I thought it was kind of cool to actually get a Wolverine little guy. So I don't know. don't really know what all that stuff means. Okay, here's my first package. I got the address upside down because I don't want anybody really to see it. Plus, I don't feel like doing a whole lot of editing. I want to try to do as little as possible. So I'm going to bust all up into this thing right here. And... Got this right here. What is this? I already know what these are, too. I just forgot, you know, I don't know what order they're going to be in. Um, because I ordered three books...
packaging is kind of not so good. I mean, he tried. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's about halfway done because he's got cardboard only on one side, but I guess he thought he could get away with putting the extra cardboard back as support. But, you know, in a way, I don't really care how my books are packaged as long as they come to me in the description that was told when I purchased the item. Okay, so as we can see, it's the Too Faced 3D cover. And I really wanted this because I am going to try to collect the entire Villains Month. Um, and the reason is because I actually got off to a really, really good start with um, the first week. I think I had nine out of the 12 issues that came out in the first week. And it seems to be, it seems to be flawless. What happened was uh, when, when this one first came out, you know, I kind of got caught up in the hype and stuff and I actually bought the 2D cover when I really should have just waited. There's some, when I really should have just waited and gone on eBay and picked these up because you know I was just kind of told that I should really try to get them because they're gonna really be high in price and all that stuff and they were not as high in price as what I had thought they were going to be when I first when they first started to come out this one is actually in pretty good shape uh, I would say worst case scenario 9.6 um, but I really don't have any intentions of getting these graded. Maybe like the, uh, which one is it? The uh, Joker's Daughter or Harley Quinn. If it, if, if, you know, if I got the uh, disposable income, um, the extra money, and feel like doing it. So that's that one. I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. <laughs> so I'm going to try and hurry up. This is the next one right here. Do not bend. It, it feels pretty, uh, pretty padded. So I probably won't have to worry too much about this one. I think I'm gonna have to edit these out, the uh, unwrapping part, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Come on. Ugh. All right. And I'm just kind of zipping through. These aren't like these aren't like Silver Age comics or anything like that. Although I still, you know, take care of my books pretty well. Just kind of because I said, like I said, I already know what these are, so. What do we got here? Bam! Wait. How do I... What is he like? Oh, he double-sided the back. That might not be a bad, uh, bad idea. I usually like, you know, tape here, tape here, tape here, tape here, and then throw the cardboard and then tape, you know, all four sides, but... Really, once you get those cardboard cardboard protection, once you get that cardboard protection, uh, it's pretty much good to go. This is the other another one from the first week that I did not have, and Grod number one. This book is really in. 9.8 condition from what it looks like yeah so i'm really pleased with this really really pleased. it's funny because i i didn't really know who this guy is grod but i was watching justice league um saturday morning um i tweeted it for those of you guys who are following me 
and he was on there kind of recruiting Lex Luthor. Um, but it was an old episode. You know, I really missed those uh, older Justice League episodes, so really going to check that out. Really going to uh, enjoy reading this, you know, 3D cover. Really, really cool. And, you know, if you guys aren't getting these, um, if, 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 if you're... If your finances allow you to, I highly recommend these 3D covers. Um, there's no telling when these are ever going to be, you know, published for collectors again. It, it could be, you know, another 20 years before we see something like this. So, I was really pleased to get this. Alright, let's keep it going. Bam. This is the last one. Last uh, comic book. See if I can just tear into it. I don't feel like editing. Okay, not bad. You know, maybe I can use this box for later. I'm gonna save the box. Actually, I'm gonna use it as a platform now. And it is. Court, oh, Count Vertigo. Count Vertigo, I, another one from the first week that I did not have. So I'm really happy to get this. Let's just kind of take a quick peek. See what condition we're in. Oh, 3D covers are kind of slippery. Uh, as we look at the edges right here, they seem to be really, really, really clean. And see, that's a good thing about these 3D covers is that they don't damage easily. Not to say that you can just handle them any, any way differently than what you usually handle a comic. But, you know, here's your 3D cover. Boom, boom. Looks like just his hand is in motion. That's pretty much it. So, really happy to get this. Like I said, I didn't have these. And in case you're wondering, I got these for like 8 to 10 bucks a piece. Um, didn't... You know, I I was I told myself I wasn't gonna spend more than ten bucks on one of these books, ten bucks on one of these books because I just thought that that was uh, I just thought that that was too much, especially when I saw what they were going for. All right, last you guys, I'm gonna move this for now. Is this right here? Where is it? Boom. I got my first apocalypse, my first statue. It is a apocalypse mini bust, as you can see right here. And we're gonna take it out here in just a second. A uh, big shout out again to my comic book shop. They actually allow layaway for 60 days. You lay 25% down, and you got the other 60 days to pay off the rest. When and it's a and it's a what is this a Bowman Bo, Bowen Bowen design when they told me that I was like oh that is really cool because a lot of people don't do layaway anymore but a lot of people want layaway and this wasn't very expensive at all you guys I'm not even really gonna say how much this was but um, and then right here on the side you have kind of a uh, bio of apocalypse right here you got his very first full appearance on X Factor number six. On X Factor number five, he had a cameo. You saw him in the shadows on the last panel, last page. And then right here is the uh, Apocalypse the Twelve. Didn't read this book and didn't don't really know much about the um, Age of Apocalypse, but I heard it was really good. Um, I was in hiatus at that time. I wasn't really collecting comic books, but I heard it was a really good story. Um, so here's the packaging. The boxing is actually really, 
really in good shape. I'm definitely going to keep the box because I know that definitely matters. If at any point I decide to resell these, resell this. So it says it's about a 1 8 scale, 6 inches tall, fully painted, ready to display. Real metal elbow hoses. That's kind of cool. And sculpted by Tony McVeigh. Don't know who that is. It says strictly limited, but everything is strictly limited. <laughs> you know, they, they, I mean, I, I know that they got these numbered, but it's just, uh, it's just to, uh, capture the, uh, the attention of the collector. So here's a styrofoam box. I like this right here because you got the little, holes right here so that you can just grab it with your fingers and pull it out nothing else in there that's it um look at that even on the styrofoam box i don't know if you guys can see it it says apocalypse so they even embed his name on the styrofoam which is really cool take this off oh that's his back let's flip him over flip you over apocalypse and there he is. Now, when I went to my comic book shop, they had quite a few of these. A guy came in with a bunch of these for trading or cash value. I don't really know. And there were a, there were a few that caught my attention. They had the Spider-Man black costume, Spider-Man regular costume, Spider-Man black costume, and then the, a Venom mini bust. I really wanted that one, but somebody bought it before I even knew about Layaway. But this was the other one I wanted. Apocalypse is one of my favorite villains from back in the day, and he still kind of is, even though there isn't a lot going on with him uh, these days. Um, it's actually kind of dusty and dirty and needs to be cleaned. Uh, I'll definitely clean it out. But that is really, really cool. Um, with these type of statues, this right here is really, it's really exposed. So this really needs to be taken care of. What I plan on doing eventually when I get enough money is I want to get a glass case, a glass shelf with a light on the inside and a mirror on the background, kind of displaying all my statues that I get because I want to get quite a few of these things. They have like a Venom one, which is really, really sweet. It's like a $200 statue though. It is so sweet. They got three Venom statues and then the one I want is the sweetest. It's like $209. I really want that. It's just his pose it's really really sweet but anyways this right here um and then i'll show the bottom of it it says right here uh three two nine nine of five thousand so i guess they only made five thousand of these and this is the 32 thirty two hundred thirty second hundred ninety nine one that they had made it, it it's got some weight to it when i first saw it i kind of thought they were like paperweights which i guess i could still use it as a paperweight but it's actually got some really solid weight to it. And and when I got it, I was like checking the, making sure these weren't like glued or redone. You know, so this is definitely a solid piece that's in really, really good shape. And as you can see, Apocalypse is sitting there like, yeah, what's up, son? You ain't going to touch this. You think you're going to mess with the Apocalypse? Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. Everybody else is weak in my eyes. That's right. Don't mess with me, son. <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> really, really sweet piece. I definitely like this. All right, you guys. That's it. I'm getting into 20 minutes here. I don't want to put an end to this. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Also like comment subscribe if you like what you see here i really appreciate everybody out there wanted to do something different glad i was able to glad i had the time to do it uh let me know what you guys think don't forget you guys keep god first in your life he is what is important right now especially with these last days dark times that's going on right now enjoy your comic books god bless you guys i'm out of here